Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Code with Scalar. Uh, today we are going to build this analog clock. So let's just start. We have two files index.html and style.css. Let's have boilerplate and uh, let me change the title to analog clock and link our CSS file as well. Uh, style dot css cool uh, let's have structure uh, now it does not have much okay uh, first we have heading then we have clock car so uh, i'm going to have uh, h1 for heading uh, analog clock and uh, now uh, let's have clock uh, inside this we have uh, these three hands right so r minute and second cool so yeah that's it for the structuring uh, now we need to move to styling before that let's just go live analog clock cool and uh, first of all i'm going to clock and uh, giving some giving it some height and width um, 30 rem and some background color so that we can see uh, how much area it has been occupying okay let's just uh, keep it in center for that uh, body or oh. mm. uh, spelling is wrong okay we need to change the flex direction to column rather than justifying content let's have a space evenly we need to give some height let's give 80 vh and see how it looks i think it does looks good or we can give it 90 we can change even change it later cool let's come to the this part where we'll be giving or uh, it's some background image okay let's search it uh analog clock images uh, let's go for blank and see if, if we can find it uh, nope uh, face uh, and see yeah here it is uh, copy image address uh, let's give it to background with the URL uh, let's just remove background color okay it's uh, not in the center or background size just cover it okay uh, now we do have complete uh, image here clock image now let's have uh, this black circle inside our image okay so for that i'm going to use a pseudo element before give it content or uh, none or uh, empty or uh, give it some height and width i think 10 pixel would be enough 10 pixel 10 pixel now uh, let's see do we have it no so i think uh, it might not be visible to us let me just give it a background color it might not be visible to us because it might be uh, below the image so for that what we can do we can give it z index and for giving z index we need to assign some position so let's have absolute and z index keep it higher oh i'm giving it high number okay here it is so let's keep it in the center for that we can just go to clock and use the our display flex line item center and uh, it has been aligned in the y-axis just keep it in center as well in x-axis okay it is in the center let's make it circular border radius so 50 percent so it's circular now cool we do have our circle now uh, let's have our our hand okay uh, 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 our Let's give it, give it some height and width to 13 rem uh, height 13 rem or uh, background color just have red so that uh, okay uh, border radius uh, 
get 50 percent now for the hand we can uh, give to dot r four let's have content empty and uh, height to 50 percent width uh, let's have six pixel background color and then uh, let's have background color gray cool it's not visible so for that to uh, display flex uh, mm, yeah display flex uh, here it is uh, it's not in the center so what we can do we can just use justify content to the center cool it is in the center now let's just give it some border radius of 10 pixels okay it does have a, a border radius similarly we can do for our minute and second and okay uh, second uh, the property which is going to be common for our minute and hand dot uh, minute dot second apart from height and width these properties going to be same let me just remove the red color border radius so we can remove it as well display flex so justify content is going to be same uh, now uh, for r let me just have a uh, height and width 13 rem and width 13 rem as well cool for minute to uh, one change is going to be there that is height and width 15 rem uh, 15 rem for second uh, let's just have uh, height 17 rem and width 17 rem for minute before before content uh, height 50 percent uh, width uh, 4 pixel and background color make it uh, blue as of now we'll change it to gray as well border radius uh, that's a 10 pixel and see okay uh, minute is not in uh, r is not in center right r is not in center display flex just by content center okay uh, these two are not in center flex or just if i can tent center okay dot minute height and width dot minute before second dot second before uh, position absolute cool because uh, the these three were in uh, in dom dom flow document flow and they were coming one after another so if i change the position to absolute all have come out of their normal dom flow okay minute before second uh second before uh, let's just have content again height to uh, 50 percent width uh, make it two pixel and border radius uh, give it 10 pixel cool. background color red now we have three hands so uh, let me just uh, change it to gray again cool now uh, our styling is complete uh, it does not look likely because here the border radius is more and uh, here a uh, border radius is not that much so it's not uh, as as a big concern we can just change it to 50 percent it will be similar to this let me show you 50 percent uh it's similar right so let's just have 10 pixel right now now uh, comes the functionality part so functionality let's implement uh, script of uh, one thing uh, just keep in mind uh, in one rotation in one rotation there is 360 degree right cool and in one hour there is 360 degree so what does it mean oh, in not in 12 hours okay in 12 hours there is 60 degree so it means in one hour there is 360 divided by 12 or 30 degree right similarly 
in 60 minutes uh, there is a 360 degree so this simply means in uh, one minute there is six degree similarly for second in 60 seconds uh, there is a 360 degree this simply implies that uh, in one second there is six degree right so i am going to write a function clock inside this so let's first select these three r second r minute and second let r is equal to document dot query selector r let minute is going to be document dot query selector dot minute and finally second is going to be document dot query selector dot second i hope i have uh, i have not done any spelling mistake r minute second cool now for date we do have a function uh, new date it will give us date let me just console you and see uh, how we how our date looks like okay I have not called the clock function now let's see Monday uh, it's showing us proper time right we can take and here we have hour minute and second so we can remove we can get the required things that is R. let us uh, date dot get us that mint that dot get get mints let dot to second date dot get seconds now we have these three things so we just need to rotate our hands right and it will be rotating in the z axis because uh, let me show you oh, if it's our clock right that is the x axis and it's y axis so if we if i have to rotate my hands so it will be rotating in along z axis that is the z axis it will be rotating along z axis so let to r dot style r dot style dot to transform transform to rotate z dollar uh, we can rotate it uh, like uh, r into 30 uh, plus minute will be taken here plus minute into minute divided by 12 degree let's see uh, okay we are getting our r and right you can see here okay uh, let's do the same for minute and second minute dot style dot transform rotate z string different mm, minute into six degree uh, let's see okay minute is uh, fine as well let's just uh, do this for second as well second dot style dot transform rotate z uh, string referral minute uh, not minute uh, it's going to be second into six degree uh, cool let's see okay uh, it's perfect now uh, let me just change the height and no i think it's fine okay uh, one thing we need to do is like uh, we need to call this function again and again after one each second so set interval we are using set interval for calling clock function right you can see oh it's working fine now what we can do we can just uh, decrease the height of our r height and width just make it 13 and let's have finally 15 okay uh, i think uh, this now does looks good it's working fine you can see the time is same in both the clocks and here as well 125 
notified right so yeah that's it for the project or uh, just one thing uh, uh we don't need to write these three things here or uh, we just selecting right so we don't need to select again and again we can just uh, simply select it at the starting and it will be enough for us okay so yeah uh, do let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section if you is there any project which you want me to cover i'll be more than happy to cover yeah bye